Welcome to the home of the Noble Warriors, the 7th Infantry Battalion, also known as the Tapat Battalion of the Philippine Army. The logo of the 7th Infantry Tapat Battalion is formed like a shield of a warrior in the Roman Empire. At the center shield is a symbolic creature, partly eagle, dragon, and seahorse tail, which symbolizes the capability of the unit to excel both in water and on ground operations. The eagle symbolizes courage, vigilance, and swiftness. It dominates the design to portray the asset of the battalion and its personnel who are man-tested in combat. The kris denotes the fighting spirit of the unit, which is to fight to the end or until the enemy is vanquished. The blue shield signifies integrity of purpose. The inside trimming indicates the immaculate standard of discipline and character of the unit. And the laurel leaves honor the brave men who have fallen for the cause. The word tapat denotes honesty and devotion to God, duty, loyalty, and sincerity in the service to country and constitution for which our heroes have made the ultimate sacrifice and given their lives to preserve peace. The 7th Infantry Tapat Battalion traces its humble beginning from the original 7th Battalion Combat Team, one of the first units activated on February 1, 1950 as part of the Philippine Ground Forces, known as the Ninita Unit. The 7th Battalion Combat Team, under the command of Colonel Napoleon Valerio, participated in the campaign against the Hooks and Secessionists in Southern Philippines. On July 1, 1973, the Philippine Army reorganized and formed the 7th Infantry Battalion at Camp Lapu-Lapu, Cebu City with Major Wilfredo A. Dublin as its first battalion commander. The unit was organized through the Kamagong concept, hence, it was composed mostly of 20-year-old trainees and draftees, led by officers and non-commissioned officers who painstakingly prepared these young men for combat. Then on, the unit hurdled the mountains and plains of the Visayas and Mindanao and became famous during the battles of the Central Mindanao Command under Army General Fortunato U. Abad in the 70s, the campaigns of Philippine Constabulary Task Force Sugar Land in the 80s, the Operation Thunderbolt in Negros Islands, led by Army General Raimundo Tejarque in the 90s, the successful assault of Camp Abu Bakar in 2001, the combat clearing operation in Palma B area of North Cotabato in 2008, and the Oplan BIFF stake in 2015 at Barangay Kabasalan, Pikit, North Cotabato. Today, 7th IB is playing a major support role in ensuring the success of the peace process and is endeavoring to attain peace and development in the municipalities of Pikit, Kabakan, Carmen, Matalam and Blanc of North Cotabato and Pagalungan and Datu Muntawal of Maguindanao Province. 7 IB has three infantry companies to accomplish its mission. The Alpha Company conducts peace and security operations to neutralize the armed lawless groups in the municipality of Pikit to secure the Malmar Irrigation Project, the Cotabato Davao National Highway, and other vital installations and to help prevent or resolve local conflicts in its area of operations. Bravo Company conducts peace and security operations to neutralize the armed lawless groups in the municipalities of Pagalungan, Dato Muntawal of Maguindanao Province, and Carmen of North Cotabato. To secure the Malmar Irrigation Project, the Cotabato Bukidnon Davao National Highway, other vital installations, and to help prevent or resolve local conflicts in its area of operations. The Charlie Company, on the other hand, conducts peace and security operations to neutralize the armed lawless groups in the municipalities of Kabakan, Matalam and Blanc of North Patabato, Secure Blanc International Airport Project, the Blanc Matalam Davao National Highway, other vital installations, and to help prevent or resolve local conflicts in its area of operations. In connection with the AFP-ITSP Bayanihan, 
7IB is bound to conduct focused military operations and non-traditional tasks while observing the primacy of the peace process. To help ensure the success of the peace process, 7IB is part of the Joint Task Force Central's operations, including the Bangsang Moro Islamic Freedom Fighters, or BIFF, stronghold in Salvo Pagatin, Mama Sapano, and Sharif Aguak, also known as the SPMS Box, in order to prevent them from spoiling the ongoing MILF GPH peace process. On the other hand, to achieve peace, 7th IB adopted the Adopt a Barangay and the Peace and Development Caravan or PDC concept of the 602nd Brigade as a strategy for its civil military operations. The PDC aims to help the local government units and agencies bring relevant services to the people of the barangays. Also, in partnership with local government units and other stakeholders, 7th IB conducts MedCap, VetCap, Brigada Escuela, Brigada Madrasa, Iftar offering during Holy Month of Ramadan, tree planting and disaster drills in collaboration with the different municipalities and barangays within the unit's area of operations. 7th IB designs and displays tarpaulin in support of the advocacies of the national, local government agencies and LGUs within the unit's area of operations. On personnel development, 7IB provides lectures on leadership and the Army Transformation Roadmap or ATR, seminars on understanding peace and development concepts, appearances in human rights and international humanitarian law forum. In support to the Environmental Protection Program of the government, 7th IB maintains a nursery inside the battalion headquarters and requires personnel undergoing the RRT to participate in clean-up drives and tree planting activities of the unit. 7th IB is now transforming into a dynamic force ready to face the challenges of the future in support to peace and development. To sustain this change, 7IB intends to pursue bolder innovations and creativity in the incoming years to align itself in its personnel to the objectives of the Army Transformation Roadmap. 7IB will continue to perform its mandate of securing the land and serving the people and intends to achieve this in collaboration and cooperation with stakeholders in the Bayanihan fashion. 7IB has served our country well and is still serving with passion and dedication. 7IB will continue to be your partner with its motto, Serbisong Tapat para sa lahat.